Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Blanksy here. This is another GT Sport video. It's been a while. I've been super busy with work, but we are here and this is controversial. Now this is gonna split the crowd. This is, uh, stay tuned to the end and we're gonna digress it together. But we'll watch this race and uh, you tell me whether you think this went too far or not. So we'll, we'll watch the race, we'll get through the race, and then something happens at the end, and I'd love to hear your opinion. Right, so let's get into this. So I started in fifth. Uh, I set a fairly decent lap time here. Now, group fours, fairly easy cars to drive. Now, I'm in the Scirocco. Um, so... Starting off, clip the grass there, coming on to this back straight, which does slow me down ever so slightly. That's me there in the um, green and orange looking liveried up car in the old, uh, what's it, the Makita, that's it, Makita drill. That's me, there I am. So as we come into big banky boy, we've got the uh, second, third and fourth here coming together and uh, Freddy Dingo gets a, gets a, gets a, gets himself caught up in the gravel uh, and we gain a free position there now we've got this guy behind us blue poacher all over us uh, so i've got no room to make any mistakes now i felt confident at this track this is a really really great track especially this last sector i found that i gained most of my time in this last sector and i, I either pulled away or closed in on people on this sector uh, which is weird because I don't really like driving this sector that much. It seems to be what I'm strong at, which is kind of strange. But it is what it is, I suppose. Right, so that is lap one over and done with. We've gained a position. Uh, now we're going to start lap two in the slip range of the cars in front. And we're going to skip ahead here. Uh, we're going to go to the end of lap two. Now because we was in the slip, we sort of stayed relatively close to these guys up ahead. And they get caught up battling here. And... Uh, I just about get past that guy behind us um, and he closes the door on me so I look for a move on the inside again a little bit too narrow to the apex I can't quite get the move done uh, he does a he sort of blocks that move lovely um, and we're gonna have to stay in third place but another lap down another position gained. this is looking good so as we get this first sector out of the way now this is such a painful sector especially that the first few corners they're so slow and so tricky especially in these front wheel drive cars that can be a little bit difficult at times whereas he takes the absolutely a widest line you've ever seen keeps his foot planted and we can't get past him but it has impeded his run going into the big banky boy so we're going to go to the inside now my game plan here just break when he breaks. Hang him out there to dry. Don't let him do the switchback. So I'm looking at my radar. I'm seeing where he is. I see that he gets on the brakes nice and early and tries to go for that switchback. But I just try and keep myself where he is. Now I'm not going to fight this too much. He gets up the inside of me here. Um, and I think about cutting that corner. And I, in my head, I'm like, ah, have I cut it too much? So I make a slight adjustment. And then I end up hitting the barrier like you just saw. And I lose a bunch of time. So not great but we're still in range we're half a second down uh in that slip range which is the most important now like i said this is my strongest sector so he's not pulled away from us if anything we've gained a tenth maybe two tenths as we end lap three and we are putting this guy under all sorts of pressure now we've got to stay tuned remember what i said keep watching to the end and you're going to see what happens between me and this fellow driver right here. Now we're starting lap four. Can I get past him in sector one? It's not It's not looking like I'm gonna get it done as I get a really bad exit out of that turn. Uh, coming into the fast uh, right-hander here. He gets a better drive out from me. Starts to pull away initially, but I'm in that slip. So he's not gonna get too far. Now, this is where it gets juicy. We're going to watch lap five, start to end, and let's see what happens. So we're in third place here. We're comfortably close. We gain a lot of time going into turn one there. Turn two, again, we get a really nice line early on the power. We get a better exit. Not great, but it's better. Leading into Big Banky, we get the best drive possible out of there. So now it's game on. What can we do from here? We're going to get in that slip range. We are, yep, 
half a second behind him. This is looking good. Now, should I go for a move into Big Banky? It's the last lap. I'm looking for second place. Am I close enough? I don't think I'm going to get it done there. But the exit is absolutely phenomenal. Now, look how close we are. This is it. I am in striking distance. I've waited. I've waited. Now is the time to act. So, I hang out wide. I make him think I'm going around the outside. I switch it back. I'm up the inside of him here. Now, again, same as before. I'm going to break when he breaks. I want to leave him out there to dry. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to take a look back at this. So, here we go. We come into this section here. He goes off the track, gives me a big nudge, takes the position off me, and he gave no sign of giving it back. So, I gave him a little tap, forced him off the track, and I took back the position. Now, it's very controversial, I know. But if he would have showed signs that he was going to give the position back, I wouldn't have done what I did. But the fact that he forced me out of the way, nearly pit maneuvered me, and didn't, didn't want to give the position back. So as we see here, look, he comes here, he hits my rear quarter, and I lose, he steps out a little bit, and he doesn't slow down at all. So I give him a little nudge, force him off the track. I don't spin him out because I don't want to kill his race. So now this is on board with me. So as you can see from the rear view mirror, he gives me a little nudge, forces his way past me, doesn't slow down to back off to say, look, I know that was a bit of a dirty move past you. I'll, I'll let you have that. So I forced my way through and I took back what I believe was my rightful position. So this is the last view, we're on board with him. He looks up the inside, goes off the track. It's only because my car was there that he stayed on. He used me as a barrier. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. I am super excited to see what you think. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay frosty.